lies, deceit, hypocriticalism. What does all these have to do with religion? Established philosophies. Well, let's take a look at Christianity and atheistic Satanism. In Anton Zandalave's Bible, the Satanic Bible, it states in the Enochian Keys, asking for the essence to be bestowed upon the individual, the practitioner. And then goes on to say, and I quote, Be friendly unto me, for I am one and the same. with the infallible king of hell. Well, let's take a look at Christianity. It states in 2 Corinthians 4.4 4, that this world is Satan's world. That Satan is the lord of this world. Hmm. Imagine that. But yet, Christianity is so dead set against it that they state that Jesus Christ is Lord. Really? Lord of what? Hmm? Where does it say in the Bible that he is Lord? It doesn't. What it does say is in Matthew chapter 1, verse 20, what is it, uh, 21 and verse 24, where you have two different names. The first is Jesus, which states that he will, a, a child shall be born of a virgin, and his name shall be Jesus Christ, or Jesus, plain and simple. Roughly translated, Son of God, in Hebrew. But yet, just a couple verses down, in verse 24, it states the exact same story, but that his name shall be Emmanuel, roughly translated in Hebrew, as God with us. So, if Jesus Christ is God, where does it say that he's God? It doesn't. The only thing it says is that that would compare both of them to each other is that my Father and I are one, which is also in the Gospels. Interesting, isn't it? But yet, the word father can be translated to a parent. Of course, you and your father are one. You come from him. That's why it's called breeding, you morons. But anyways, but yet, here's another thing. You sit there and you claim that Satanism is nothing compared to Christianity. But yet, atheistic Satanism from the Church of Satan plays the bad guy role. Reversed Christianity. Interesting, isn't it? And as for Christians, well, the Ten Commandments are there. Even Jesus himself says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 1, Judge not that ye not be judged. Then it goes on a couple of verses and says, and I quote, Before you can remove the speck from your brother's eye, you must first remove the big wooden log from your own. Wow. But yet, like Anton Zandalave noted, in the Devil's Notebook, Christians have a tendency to feel guilt about their own actions, but yet, stupidity should be, and I quote, painful. They judge everybody. They rewrite the, the book, even though it states in Revelations 22, verses 18 and 19, judge that if any man adds or takes away from this book, 
the same shall be done out of the book of life. Well, this is hypocritical because you can now have about, what, 20 Bibles out there? Guess you didn't take that one into consideration. And then you go around judging others, stating that they're wrong, you're right. Well, you're violating your so-called God's word. Again, stupidity. Lies and deceit. Like your shit don't stink. Seriously. This is hypocritical. This is self-deceit. So, the way I see it, and I'll tell you this straight, you really aren't nothing. The Church of Satan, you're not satanic. You're just plain atheistic, plain and simple. As for Christianity, you're morons. Jesus Christ was a black magician. The Bible, which was written by man, clearly shows him as a black magician, a warlock. He controls the elements, the very nature of air, water, fire, and earth. By using earth, he made and spit he allowed a blind man to see. He control. He calmed the wind in the waters. When his disciples, his apprentices, were terrified. It's called elemental witchcraft. He brought two people back from the dead. Necromancy. And here's a kicker. Another aspect of, of necromancy is invocations of the spirits, the conjurations of spirits. This is the way necromancy was back in the day. Not to what it is seen as today. The Bible speaks on 15 distinctly different entities. It's a book of demonolatry. Nothing more. And here's the kicker. You go around committing adultery, judging people. That's just plain stupid and sad. That you want to sit there and create all that drama and all that chaos because you can't fit in with reality. You'd rather hide your face in an altar rather than facing reality? That's just plain sad. Sad as can be. Can you say losers? Seriously. Now with that said, you see the lies, you see the stupidity, the hypocrisy of it all. So... Until next time, Agios Satanus. Have a good night.